This is 6.4 Central Limit Theorem Question 3. Southwest Airlines currently has a seat width of 17 inches. Men have hip breadths that are normally distributed with a mean of 14.4 inches and a standard deviation of 1 inches. Question A is asking you to find a probability that an individual man is randomly selected that his hip breadth uh, is the greater than 17 inches. Now, in order for you to do this as an individual man, so that means central limit term does not apply because it's only for one person. Uh, since this is a greater, so for us to figure out what is this probability, is you have to use the 1 minus p norm of 17. The mean in this case is... Um, 14.4 and the standard deviation here is 1. So if you type this in your R, um, you will find out that, um, let's see what you have here. So to forget class, in test you have three points here. One is the picture that you draw, two is the syntax, and the third point is your your answer in four decimals place usually. So in four decimals place, this is 0 0.0047. So this is for question A. Uh, in order for us to do question B, question B is asking that if the plane is full with 122 randomly selected men, find a probability that the man has a mean hip breadth that is greater than 17 inches. So in order for us to do this, this is a central limit theorem because we have N, we have a group, sample group, we are finding the sample mean. Uh, so this is a sampling distribution of sample mean. So, um, so in order for us to do this, it's exactly the same here. But, um, but since um, our standard error here is not 1, it's 1 over by square root of 1, 2, 2. Um, so this is how we're going to type this in your R here. So central limit theorem is applying in this question. Um, so that will give us 0. Yes, that means that this is actually is a 0 chance of happening. And for part C, question C is asking which result should be more considered for any changes in seat design, the result from part A or the result in part B. Now my question to you is how many people sit in a seat? Is that one people or a group of 122 people? Now as you guys know that only one people sit on a seat, so that means that part A will be the correct um, answer here because only one person can sit on a seat not 122 so uh, which uh, is anytime when you answer this question to pick which part A or part B you have to use your common sense to think are we talking about one person or are we talking about a group of people